Well, hello, strangers. Today, we are going to make a crock pot recipe, and it's chili, and it is so good. It's been a long time since I've had it, and I had it maybe like a few months ago, and I was like, I forgot how good this is, so we're gonna make it again today. So let's get started. Here are all the items you will need. You'll need a cutting board and a knife, and you will need a strainer. I use these just because I like to pre-measure the spices. Crock pot, one cup measuring, tablespoon, teaspoon, half a teaspoon, and of course a pan to ground the beef in, and that to use it with the beef. And then of course you need this to help stir. And I do not make crock pot meals without these crock pot bags. They are amazing. They're awesome. I recommend these very highly to use in the crock pot every time you use it. All right, next we have the ingredients you'll need. You'll need two pounds of ground beef. I am cheap, so I just get one, and I think it tastes just fine with just one meat. You need one cup of onion, two cloves of garlic, one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I like the smaller ones, so I use the petite diced, but of course you can use whatever you prefer. One can of chili beans, one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. You will need two tablespoons of chili powder, one and a half teaspoon of ground cumin. You'll need half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. And that is all you will need. Okay, so I got the beef all cooked and it's ready to go. And I chopped one cup of onion and then I went ahead and put the garlic and the spices in there ready to go. And I've opened my cans. And all we're gonna do is dump it all in here. And I also wanted to show this, um, see how it just kind of protects it? So it makes cleaning way easier. You just pick up the bag, dump it, and then rinse it off and put it in the dishwasher. Easy peasy. So now we're just gonna add everything in there. We put the meat in. And I like to cut my meat up pretty small too, but of course you can do whatever you like. And then we will put our diced tomatoes in there. Again, with the juice. Sounds like a bell. We got everything out of there. Then we're going to put our tomato sauce in there as well. Then we're gonna put our chili beans with the sauce. We're not draining them. I might need to get that with a spoon in a minute. And then we will add the onions in there. Whoo, I love onions. And then add all of our seasonings and the garlic in there. And then we will stir that around. And I'm going to stop this real quick and use a spoon to get the rest of this good stuff in here. Be back. So I got it all good and mixed in and I have the crock pot plugged in. I'm gonna turn this on low and put the lid on there. And of course you don't put on the traveling clamps on there while it's going. And we'll be back in six to eight hours. It'll seem like a second for you guys. And this is what it looks like after about seven and a half hours. And it smells so yummy. Then we just top this with some cheese or sour cream or Fritos and you have yourself a very yummy dinner. Thanks for watching. Bye.